Hey, so if you've been uh, following my channel for a while or seen any of my posts, you may have noticed some sort of strange videos like this. Okay, so I'm magically in the Houdini, so I'm just going to go File, Import, Geometry, and hopefully you've downloaded the, the package from the Gumroad. So you should have the FX Study Kit, the Study Kit 0 0.01 scale and 0 0.1 scale. There's some different scales in here because uh, people play with different scales and do stuff, but um, basically the FX Study Kit is real, real world scale, not touched exactly how it was filmed, then 0 0.1 scale here and 0, 0.0 scale. So I'm just going to go through the absolute basics just in case someone's like watching this and they have no idea, but this is just an explanation of what the pack is. So you won't have that because I'll probably tidy it up, but you'll have your head geometry and if you just bring that in and magic, a head will pop in. Just drag this down here and you'll have the Jim Collins head. I'm just going to go file, import, uh, Olympic scene. I'll navigate to the same one, so make sure you've got the same scale, otherwise it's not going to really work. And click accept. So now if I look through that camera, it magically looks like it's in the same place. But how would we really know without the backplate? So I'm just going to go into the camera, double click in again, so I'm at the object level, go to the view, and that should already be ticked and go to background image and it will all be in the first study kit because there's no point in me copying it across all of them because that scale doesn't change go to plate and Jim Collins and magic it fits pretty much I would say perfectly maybe I don't know down to your choice so now you're sort of thinking oh we've got this plate and maybe all the reference start to make sense so now you've got that in you essentially start going through doing your sim work pick a i don't know maybe a random one of those refs that i put up so i'm just going to go over to here or something i prepared earlier and just remember i am not a fx artist this is just something that i threw together very quickly and roughly and whatever it was so basic fluid sim setup already cached it out Blah, 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 do all that stuff, and then you sim over the top, and you can sort of see this might actually be quite useful for you to match with the ref. Obviously, my sim's pretty rubbish. Straight out of the box, maybe change the viscosity and up the samples or the, the sub steps. And it just means that you have a one to one comparison to all that weird reference that I filmed before. Um, so, say if you picked chocolate, you could then have a one-to-one -one reference with that and then you can try and refine it your sims to get as close as you possibly can so you've done all that, you've done your sim and you've also got I'm not going to bother opening it here, I'm just going to drag it across oh look, you've got a HDRI of the exact place so you can easily match, look there he is, good old Jim match the, the lighting very easily um, you have your reference balls Nice, match line perfectly. This is exactly if you want to go into that much detail. And then you've got your color chart, so you can then match the color. So you've pretty much got everything. You've effectively got the golden ticket of VFX. So you have everything you need. All you have, all you need to do is just import and splooge or splooge over it to match whatever, <laughs> whatever reference that you do. I guess this is kind of more for advanced stuff where you're really like focusing on the minor details and really getting it tuned into the sim so yeah that was pretty much it that was, this is not a tutorial or anything it's just an explanation of why i was filming some mannequin getting covered in food and stuff it wasn't a sort of a weird fetish thing Jeffrey dharma thing but um hopefully it's useful and i picked a mannequin head because it's not porous smooth so you don't have to worry about surface clumps and bit like that so it's it's kind of a smooth surface for good for fluids so yeah i'm gonna stop going on hope you becomes useful download it it's free um you get all the stuff yeah and 
have fun enjoy covering gym with stuff <laughs>